What's up, beautiful people? Brian, the bootmaker here, and today I decided to do another Q and A. You guys always ask me questions on the comments, so now I'm all ready to answer them. So let's start with the first question. In the future, I'll be happy to make a video about my clothing style and my collection and my preference when it comes to certain periods of clothing. And I do have a pretty big collection now. I've been buying clothing for a while. I really appreciate workwear and I love to combo it with more casual, you know? So yeah, I'll try to make a video about my clothing and my style, I guess. Thank you for your interest. It will be cool to make a video with my teacher. Maybe I can make another video where we work on a boot together. That would be pretty fun. But yeah, definitely, I'll try to collab with my teacher and maybe convince him to be in front of the camera. He's a bit shy, but hopefully I can uh, make it happen. I am, I am going to release socks in the future, so stay tuned for World Club socks. I'm going to be using uh, merino wool, so your feet stay cool. I'm not sure on the thickness yet. I might release multiple thickness because I know some people like wearing thicker socks or some people like wearing thinner socks depending on the weather, so stay tuned for that. And also, I am going to be making World Club wallets. Uh, look into trucker wallets and also like a minimal list wallet where just like three slots just for more convenience so yeah I'm working on also belts so leather goods and wallets so stay tuned for that as well I'm just working on the design right now you know it takes me a while to create a product that I really like so finally so when the designs finally done That'll be the easiest part. And also people are asking me if I ship Roll Club boots overseas. I do ship Roll Club boots overseas. And basically worldwide. So if you're interested in a pair of Roll Club boots, just email me and ask me any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And yes, I do ship worldwide. I'm not sure if there's a proper way to lace a boot, but I personally have a certain style that I like to use. So I'll show you guys right now. Okay, I'm about to show you guys how I lace my boots. We have a pair of underdogs here. So first what I do is go under. And everyone has their own style, but this is the way I like to do it. So I go under and then I go under again. Most people like going over, but I just like going under. Hopefully I don't get criticized how I lace my boots, but I like how this looks. So I can do it continuous, same way where it's just over. So it's over, over, under, under. What I really want to show you guys is, people ask me, why do you put a, why do you put an eyelet on top of the speed hook? Doesn't it just get unlaced? But actually the technique for that is you actually have to make a knot so here we go so first you go to the first speed hooks one second speed hook two right here you make one knot so it's secure and then you go through here boom and you go through here boom and now it's very secure and it won't unlace like that and complete that's how you do it that's how I do it I actually only countersink the stitching when I do leather bottoms but for rubber half soles and rubber full soles personally it doesn't matter because the, th the thread I use is so thick that at the end it ends up being like little wooden pegs, if that makes sense. 
and it do wear out but it doesn't mean the soles gonna fall apart I've been wearing my road clubs for many years and they're still solid because they're also glued as well so don't worry if the stitches aren't countersunk because they're still solid when an upper of a boot is too far gone that's when the leather isn't doesn't have any more life where it's dry like just walking with the boot will crack but majority of boots I resold boots from the 40s and they're they seem all broken and torn apart but at the end if you look at it closely if the leather isn't turning to dust and I say they're still good to go I think it takes a lot for a boot not to be worth the resole but sometimes like for a work boot if the toe starts wearing out or you start getting holes then that's a different story because then we have to change the vamp or the counter but usually for a, for a boot it all depends on the upper and just remember to maintain your boots with good leather conditioner and I'm releasing a leather conditioner soon so you guys can put on your boots like every two weeks and it will keep your boots alive for a while sometimes customers do send me boots to remove steel toe so that's an option I can remove the steel toe put a elastic toe or just remove the steel toe and all and just leave it until so it deflates over time and they like the unstructured toe box that vintage look I have actually seen a lot of pair of boots and shoes that are poorly made and very expensive but I understand because usually those those brands are like you're buying the brand not the quality so at the end don't always think of an expensive boot is quality make sure to understand the construction of the shoe or boot and the details that you're actually buying I'm actually working about let's say I get into the shop at like 7 in the morning 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 I'm working part of 9 to 10 hours a day I don't work on Sundays so it is very time consuming but hopefully in the near future I get like an apprentice or people who want to work and build something bigger than what I have now that would be really cool when a boot doesn't go to plan I just have to start all over yes sometimes I for example I stitch a boot on the land this stitcher and the stitch gets crooked and I have to fix it the only way I can do fix it is re, re welt it so I have to step back two steps down and just keep going so there's always sometimes that mistakes happen but we can always fix it I've been making boots since 2010 but I wasn't good until maybe 2014 13 so yeah maybe I guess eight nine years the way I sharpen my knife the easiest way for me is with a sharpening rod but when once the once it's not sharp no more and the and the blade gets too thick I sand it down with a sandstone and then just sharpen it up again with the sharpening rod At the moment, I like using um, five to six ounce leather, or sometimes I even use six, seven ounce as well. So thank you all for watching my q and I always appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me by clicking the thumbs up button and commenting below. Uh, I'm trying to stay consistent with YouTube and hopefully I can try to bring more content to you guys. I'm thinking of doing more like ASMR style videos so it's less me talking and just working. Let me know if you guys are interested in that type of video. 
I think it will help make more content so I don't have to keep uh, everything very smooth if that makes sense and yeah thank you all for always watching I'm glad this channel is still growing and I appreciate all those customers that come in and say oh I watch you on YouTube that makes me feel very happy because you know the hard work pays off and thank you all for subscribing I believe I have about 60k followers I would never would have expected to have 60k followers and have people have interested in what I do and from the bottom of my heart I appreciate appreciate you all Thank you.